Hey guys, so today we are making these adorable peanut butter and jelly cakes. Peanut butter and jelly toast cakes. I was gonna make just like toast and then I realized that I could make two and they would look like a cute couple. So that's what I did. My name is Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. <laughs> Let's create these cakes. I'm starting with two six inch square cakes and I'm just gonna level them off. Now because we're creating two, you're going to need two of these cakes. So you're gonna basically repeat the process. So I placed my cake onto a very small cake board and then I added some buttercream into the middle. I'm just smoothing it out with my offset spatula. Now my second layer of cake goes on top then I added on my bread template. So it looks like a kawaii piece of bread. I'm just gonna remove all of the excess. And then voila, we got this perfect kawaii bread cake shape. Now this cake is going to get an entire coat of buttercream. And then placed into the fridge to set. And I just repeated the process. But I wanted to see what would be easier if I cut the shape first and then added the buttercream, or if adding the buttercream and then cutting the shape would be easier. And it turns out that cutting the shape and then adding buttercream makes the process less messy. So do it that way, do it that way. So I cut a piece of beige fondant into the size of my kawaii bread shape, and then I placed that on top. And I just wrapped the entire cake with some brown fondant. Just hid the seam right where the top of the cake meets the bottom part. Then I repeated that process with my second. It's a lot of repeats when you're doing multiple cakes like this. And I was gonna do four, cause I wanted to do like one with peanut butter, one with jelly, one with Nutella, and then one with cookie dough butter. Have you had that? It's so good. But then it got too complicated and I was like, well, I'm gonna be doing the process four times. No, thank you. I don't even wanna do it twice to create peanut butter, but that's fine. I'll do it because there are a couple. I rolled out a very thin piece of purple fondant to create my spreaded jelly, placed that on top of one cake, and then placed on some peanut butter to create the second. If you wanna see more of my cute creations, there are links for you in the description box as well as at the end of the video. I created this awesome taco cake, right? Look at that, how do you eat that guy? I don't know. I had to give them some characters, so I added a very kawaii mouth and two round circles of black fondant to create their eyes. And to just add some sparkle, catch light to each of the eyes. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing to get the jelly cake, but I wanted to make sure that you could see the mouth, so the inside of my jelly cake's mouth is made with black fondant. Finally, we're gonna add some cheek detail, and voila, my peanut butter and jelly cake was complete. Yeah, boy, it's looking so cute. They're good apart. Have you ever had a jelly sandwich? It's good. Have you ever had a peanut butter sandwich? It's good. But when you bring them together too, they taste good as well. I, better, maybe? I don't know because they're... Hold on. Yeah, they do. They taste better together because you got the salty and you got the sweet. And make sure you hit that notification button so you can see the rest of my cakes. I've got a whole bunch of kawaii stuff coming your way. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Peace!